Allison Bennett. Today I'm gonna to show you how I play Suede Head by Morrissey. You're gonna need a capo on the second fret. There's a number of parts to it, and I will show you some easier ways to play some of the parts. Let's get started. First, I'll play the whole intro without talking. So we're starting with this chord here. It comes in really quietly and builds and builds. You're gonna bar at the uh, first fret, second and first strings, and then second finger at the second fret, fourth string. Start strumming it quietly, just a few strings, and then eventually add up to the fifth string. And then turn your distortion on and we're gonna do that melodic um, lead part and I'm gonna separate it into four parts. So here's the first part. I'll play it first. So we're starting at the first string, seventh fret relative to the capo, pluck it three times. Then the eighth fret second string, you're gonna pluck it three times and on the third time, slide up to the 10th. Then you are going to go up a string to the uh, first string 10th fret. You can either just use your second finger or you can add a finger. You're gonna pluck the first string 10th fret three times and then back to the 10th fret second string three times, and on the third time, do a slide. Down, just a little one. And you're not sliding to any particular fret, you're just letting go as you slide. Here's part two. It starts on 10th fret, uh, second string. So right from uh, where we just slid, uh, we're gonna go 10, eight, six, six, all on the second string. Then seventh fret on the third string, back to six on the second string. So part two all together. And here's part three. So we start on the sixth fret, second string, right where we left off in part two. Pluck it one time, then again, but this time hammer on to the eighth fret, and then play the eighth fret again, the little vibrato. Then the whole thing repeats from part one, and you do uh, part one and part two. And then we skip part three and we go straight to part four. All right, so when we go back to part one, that's where I'll take it from and I'll play it uh, part one, part two, and part four. So part four. It starts on the eighth fret, second string. Pluck it again and slide to the 10th fret. Pluck the 10th fret. Go back to the eighth fret. And then do a hammer on from eight to 10. And that, and right there on 10 is when the verse comes in. So you might have to skip that note if you wanna to get to the verse on time, or 
If you're just playing acoustic guitar and you're doing this solo, you can skip this whole intro and just go right into the verse. Next is the verse. Now I like to do a lot of picking. You can also just strum it. I will give you both options. Let's take a look. So here's how I play the verse. I'll do it first without talking. D chord. You're going to strum and then pluck one, two, three. Then put your pinky down on the third fret first string, so that makes it a D sus4, and pluck one, two, three again. Then remove your pinky, so it's back to a regular D, and pluck just one. So, so far we've got. And then you're going to stay on the D, pluck the fourth string, one, two, three. Then remove your second finger, which makes it a D sus two, and pluck one, two, three, one. So I'm going to take it from that fourth string open at the D chord. So that whole section based around the D chord, I'm going to play it all the way through really slow. And you do repeat it. So it's a total of two times through that progression. Then we're going to move to the C chord. And I'm just going to strum it and then Add your pinky on the second string third fret, which makes it a C add nine, and pluck one, two, three, twice. So that's. Then your pinky comes off, make a regular C, and then pluck uh, second string, fifth string, and then one, two, three. So from the C chord, so when you take your pinky off, it's and then you put your pinky back down one more time and pluck two, one, remove the pinky and pluck two, three. Sorry, that's really bothering me. Um, and that's the whole C section. So I'm gonna play all of it slow. Again, even slower. And just like the D section, the C section re repeats total of two times, and that's the whole verse. Now, if you want to do an easier version, instead you could just strum the chords. pre-chorus. It's going to be all strumming. All right, so this is the I'm so sorry part. First I'll just play it. So 
we've got an E minor, D, C, D, E minor, D, and then one strum of C, and one strum of C add nine. We did this in the verse where you put your pinky on the third fret second string, and you're gonna do that three times. One, That's the whole pre-chorus. Next is the chorus where Morrissey's singing, why do you come here? It's just three chords and there's some picking as well. Let's take a look. So I'll play the whole thing first. Start with the G chord, A minor, F, and it, you, if you want, you can just strum it. You don't have to do the picking, but the picking is it's going to be well first a little strum, and then one two three one two, and then the next chord is an A minor, and you can opt to just do the regular open A minor, but I like to do the bar chord voicing up here on the seventh fret fourth string and then barring the fifth fret strings one, two, and three. So from the F, and then do a little slide into the seventh fret, fourth string, and then pluck one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And then the whole thing repeats and that's the whole chorus. Next is the bridge. It's an instrumental bridge, so there's no lyrics over it. You're gonna need an F, E minor, and a C. First, I'll play it all the way through. So, We've got the F chord first, and we are alternating between a strum and a melody note. So we're going strum and then first string. And you're gonna do that twice. And then pinky comes on the uh, third fret, first string. And you do that twice. Um, so that's first string with your third fret down and then take it off so that's first fret a little quicker. Next is the E minor. I'm going to use fingers two and three for the E minor and it's going to be strum one, strum one, and then Again with the pinky on the third fret, second string this time. Then first finger on the second string, uh, first fret. So when you go to the first fret, it's not going to be alternating with the bass or with the strum. It's just three quick ones in a row. So again, that E minor section is strum one, strum one, strum two, the third fret, twice, and then first fret, second string. And let's do a strum. I think I'm doing strings four, three, and two, like a down, up, down. Next, we go back to the F and we do the same thing that we already have done. And then finally, the C chord, and that one is just strummed, and it's the same rhythm that we did in the pre-chorus, minus the C add nine, so just a straight C. And again, if you don't wanna do all the picking, you can opt to just strum the whole bridge. the first. 
first. So there you have it, Suede Head by Morrissey. It's a great tune. We've got a lot of requests for it. We do take requests, so go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.